Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this very easy jellyfish design for you. And this jellyfish design is very, very simple to do. And all you need is white and black acrylic paint to do this design. And the background is a gradient um, that I actually stamped on. So all the nail polishes and the acrylic paint that I used in this design will be listed down below in the description box in case you want to do exactly the same design as me. So just keep watching and learn how to do this very easy jellyfish design. So I went ahead and did the gradient off camera and I used three colors for this C gradient. A green color with a gold shimmer, a medium blue and a dark blue. And I will go ahead and list all of these polishes down below in case you want to do exactly the same gradient. And I will also link a gradient tutorial video down below in case you don't know how to do gradients. So wait until this is completely dry and go in with the glitter polish. And this glitter polish is really stunning for this kind of C gradient. This is in a very light green base and with a, a lot of uh, different color glitters, mainly green and blue, and it looks really amazing. So let me go ahead and apply this glitter. So now you want to wait until this is completely dry before you move on to the next step. So now let's go into the white paint and draw our jellyfish. Draw a half circle. For the bottom, you want to do a scallop. Now let's draw his tentacles, or I don't really know what those appendages are called, but add a lot of water to your acrylic paint so the lines are really thin. And that's pretty much the jellyfish. And let's just go ahead and draw one more. So now let's add some bubbles to this design. This step is optional, but I think it really makes it look even better. For the last part, we're just going to go ahead and add two eyes to the jellyfish to make it look a little bit more realistic. So go into the black paint and just go ahead and dot in the eyes. And now this design is completely done. All you have to do is wait until everything dries and then just top coat to add that beautiful shine and protect your design. 